It has been a happy mail bonanza this last week. Hey, it's Kara. Welcome to my take at the lake. So, went to the box and this gorgeous, gorgeous envelope was there waiting for me. The very next day, this beautiful envelope was waiting there for me. And I have to say, the purples look like they're from the same dye lot, which is so cool. Like they're coordinating. And I have to tell you, I got these days and days ago, and I just put them on the counter, and I just left them there. I haven't opened them, except to get the stuff out so it'd be easier on camera, but I just like looking at them and savoring. Oh, there's goodies in there. Oh, there's fun stuff in there. I can't wait to get in there. I can't wait to get in and see what's going on in there. I am thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to show you all whatever's in here. I'm so excited. Uh, we'll start with the one that's on top, just because it's easy. This one came from Israel. Wow! And it only took nine days. Sometimes it takes nine days for me to mail something across the state that I live in. It's four hours away. I could hand deliver it quicker, for God's sake. Nine days from Israel. And look at all this cool international postage stuff that's on here. Wow. Wow. So I'm just like a kid at Christmas. I'm more interested in the box and the package. At least I'm. that's every bit as much fun. So I think this one goes this way. So this is from Know It. No eat. No eat. I think it's no eat. No eat. No eat. N O I T art. No eat art. And she, if you've not seen her channel, she's amazing. Very talented artist. And she's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos that we can binge watch and learn from. She's the one I got the idea for the fun sprays. Totally her idea that I have now claimed as my own. Not my idea. Got it from her. She does so many things with cheap stuff. Like she made some really cool gilding wax out of, I think it was coconut oil and old makeup. She's like, a wizard. Yeah, in a good way. It's wonderful to watch. And so she was doing a giveaway and you just had to leave comments. And I try to watch as many as I can and comment every time because I know that helps the algorithm. And, and uh, I was lucky enough to win one of her packets. She was doing one every week, but then she thought, she said, I'm, I don't want to go to the post office every week, so I'm going to give away 10. <laughs> and speaking of that, I will talk about my own giveaway at the end of this video. I'll tell you who won the goodie packets giveaway. But that's at the end. I'm going to make you suffer through my happy mail and show you what cool creative things these ladies have sent or come up with or made or whatever. Obviously, this is stuff that she has made. She did a live stream the other day all about how to make really cool stickers for your junk journaling and she uses them in postage and packaging and whatnot yeah, I don't know if you, yeah you can see it's uh painty paper and then she stamped it and then it looks like she sponge painted it a little bit beautiful and she was using thrifted stickers on the live she had all different kinds of stickers so i think what she had were they were about this size and they were pink baby pink and they were all girly girl like baby showery stuff i mean there's so many so many only so many places you can use that kind of sticker she had pages of them she just painted over them brilliant and they turned out fantastically and we know this we just don't imp implement it all the time uh-oh uh -oh. let's see here this one here it's a little a little clip, a little plastic clip that did not make the international travel. <laughs> Aw, it's pink, so my guess is it probably was on this pink item. Oh well, oh well, now we know. Oh, look, I gotta love a mini. Who does not love a mini something? Beautiful gray. Oh, I just love these colors. Nice vintage rose. How cute. Perfect bow. I, sh I hate to untie it because it'll never be perfect when I me and my right-handed way of using my left hand my bows always come out upside down so I have to turn whatever I'm doing completely upside down in order for my bow to lay right and then it's not even close 
Oh, look at. Hang on. Let me see. You know, we're going to have to reverse. I'm sure she has a video out on this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart because <laughs> I'm a brat that way. But let's look at this. First, it's just beautiful. I love the colors. But she's got an accordion folded. Looks like probably a 12 by 12 piece of paper and she does a lot of videos yeah they're so it's two strips connected in the center there she glued two pages together and then folded them such and this is a piece of paper folded as such look at that isn't that brilliant and then Okay, let's see if Smarty Pants can put it back together again. We'll just see here. So one would go in there. One would go in here. Oh, what have I done? I want to go now. If I'm not careful, this will end up on the Krabby Crafter. <laughs> Over at the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse. If you've not been, join us. It's a snark fest, and I'm having a ball. More on that later. Right now, it's all about this cute little journal. So, now that I've taken it apart, and I know how it works, look how cute this is. You don't have to take it apart. You can just decorate it and let it just be. But now we know how to make these. You make them at a certain height, accordion fold two strips of it together, glue one, glue them together, in a center piece and then fold a little bit larger piece down that is brilliant and then she's got the ribbon attached underneath a beautiful sticker how fun is that for stocking stuffers and mother's day gifts that are coming up maybe by the time this video comes out it'll be over but there's it seems like there's another holiday right around every corner these would be great for any holiday you know a little birthday goodie beautiful i love it i love it she also has a lot of videos about how to use up scrapbook paper that you don't like of course you could paint any paper over it you can do all different kinds of things and she does all kinds of things with scrapbook paper that she doesn't like but has an arse load of look at this i believe she went to school to college to be a i think it's design to design theater sets wow how cool would that be to study and so she's been studying art for a very long time and she she is very prolific and she just does stuff probably every single day she's got so many good ideas i know that she watercolored this and then drew on the leaves and then colored them in with her metallic pen or watercolor oh there's little swirls here too little metallic swirls and then some ink work pen and some stamping and then she went around it put a beautiful little eyelet in and some ribbon how cool is this this oh it looks like it might be reused packaging maybe it's shiny might be scrapbook paper that's shiny i don't know or recycled packaging i don't know but it's really cool it looks like tweed not tweed like a man's suit material might be made out of it's very pretty but gorgeous isn't that beautiful I can hear you laughing. Oh, look, butterflies. She loves butterflies. <laughs> Clearly, Noeet doesn't watch my channel, but that's okay. I love a gift. And if you don't know, you don't know. Very pretty. This, I have this scrapbook paper, so I know that that's what this is. A 12 by 12. Yeah, a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. Again, folded to be the cover of a, of a journal. Holy smack, look at here. Oh my gosh. Look at all the pretties. I need you to lay down so that just lay there for a minute. Wow, look at all the cutouts and stuff. Gold, you can see it. Oh, there we go. Shiny. So, oh my goodness, so vintage. That is 
gorgeous. A little violets tucked in there. Wow. Oh, there's more. Wow. More gold stuff. Oh, die cut stuff is so fun. Queenie. Should have had that for my aunt's album, Queen Bee. Trim. So beautiful. Oh, look, down on one knee. And she's having no part of it. <laughs> I said no. Perhaps it's our imperfections that make us so perfect for each other. In vain I have struggled. It will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Whoops, whoops. I wonder... Did she make these or are these purchased? I mean, these are pretty, you know, pretty intricate. I would think these are store-bought. But she's awful talented, so I don't want to say for sure. Oh, yeah, this one's got little die-cut things. This, this I know is store-bought. This one I know. I don't know. I'm going to say they're store-bought. I'm going to go ahead and say they're store-bought. Every bit is gorgeous. But, you know, I have to point out, because that's, you know, that's who I am. <laughs> the reason I ask if they're, wonder if they're homemade is because spelling errors, spelling errors <laughs> in the store-bought stuff. Come on, people. This one, too. No space there. Aren't they cute, though? Those can go in my, my grumpy glue book, my grumpy glue book. Because, you know, misspellings. I love them. Holy moly, there's a lot of them here. Okay, so what do we have in here then? Oh, it's kind of like a flowish journal, right? I can, they're just in here, traveler's notebook style. So I can either use it as a journal as it is, or take these beautiful papers out and use them in my crafts, in my projects. Stuff from Noe Stash. Oh, beautiful colors. Wowzer. Oh, sunshine. Little six by six pad, right? Is that probably the right size? Oh, I love these. Purples and blues. Oh, very cool. And then all these beautiful bright colors or soft colors. Such a nice mix. Wonderful. And another one. Holy man. She sure put a lot in that tiny little package. Wow. Nice clip. Bronzed. Um, what do you call it? Aged. Inked. Something or other. Again with the 12 by 12. Oh my god. Uh, 12 by 12 paper folded in such a way that it makes an envelope. So it looks like you take the 12 by 12 and you fold the corners all in. You fold the top and bottom in first and the sides in last so that you can have them open. Glue it, the top and the bottom together and leave the sides open. And there you have a little journal cover in which to put Ooh, more goodies more and more goodies what else do we have here oh fun so these I bet are her painty papers that she's painted and punched I have got to get some good punches I don't I have a mousse and a martini glass <laughs> I, I'm not sure I can get far with a mousse and a martini glass <laughs> but it would be fun wouldn't it Oh, that gold, that's gold at shiny. Shiny! Handmade paper. She does faux handmade paper. Uh, very easy. So this might be that. This looks more complicated than that, but she's amazing, so I don't know. But it's beautiful. This one, too. This one's got oodles of texture on it. This is all 3D. I think... She puts tissue or napkin 
over it and then does the watery fun sprays or water color or watered down acrylic look at here right up my alley these are all the colors i'm using in that new art journal thing that i made if you've not seen it it's not out yet or it will be out soon or it was just out or it's coming but i used all these colors and made a whole journal almost almost full of painting papers gorgeous gorgeous i have a leaf too but it, she's tiny tiny just teeny oh look at This might be a napkin over paper and then punched. On scrapbook paper she doesn't like. <laughs> Beautiful. That's awesome. More leaves. These are just, this one's just scrapbook paper. Now a whole 12 by 12 sheet of that wicker looking thing might be too much, but it's perfect for a leaf either side it they both look fabulous and this one feels like it's been painty papered a little bit of paint texture on there beautiful fall colors oh we're learning so much from happy mail a beautiful tag again there's more of that kind of paper nice journal writing space you know it's not super overpowering like some of the papers can be just so busy and bright but that's a perfect journaling space and then her beautiful artwork on the front um, some stenciling mark making stamping perhaps some spatter really fun stuff Ooh, look at this this one all the colors again so pretty nice bright white on the back so I can use them as tags put my own tag toppers in use them just as they are as journal cards i could put images on the front if i want and journal on the back all kinds of things this oh they're not quite the same size as two tags like this you could make a mini journal real easy real easy oh my gosh i can't believe how much stuff she's crammed into this little tiny package it's wonderful okay what kind of paper is in here Oh, wow. Look at those colors. What do we have in the... Oh, the maps. It's perfect. A compass and a map. Oh, time machine. Take your time. <laughs> Don't worry. I do. Everywhere I go, take my time. Oh, I love these papers. And there's two of each, it looks like, or at least two of each beautiful center fold so i can keep some in here and use some i you know i like always to have the best of both worlds i like to have it all i want to keep the journal as it is but i want to use some of the papers so since there's a few doubles i can do that wow wow people are so generous i am telling you what just so generous and talented oh my goodness all right, I'm going to keep this beautiful sticker, too, for my Happy Mail journal. A noisy bag I'm going to throw away, though. I don't like noisy bags, but I am going to keep this bugger. I love the color and all the goodies on it, for sure. So, here, here we go. This one is from Sue Victor. She is the one that I tell anyone who ever asks me, but how do you use a junk journal? I say, go watch Susan's videos. <laughs> She's got the perfect use for them. Her and Journal Journeys 51, I think, is her friend's channel. And they both use their junk journals pretty similarly in a, almost a daily fashion. Fantastic way to put together and use junk journals. So if you have that question, go check out their channels. Of course, I will link them below as I will link Know It, Know It's channel too spitting and spattering i'm so excited and drooling so i said i had this sitting on the counter for a while just literally every time i looked at these two packages i just it just made me happy who needs more than that just made me happy <laughs> look how cool this is first of all let's just love up that little guy isn't he wonderful and then a cutie kitty and a beautiful purple and a beautiful beautiful flowers beautiful beautiful 
And, and look at all the postmarks. How fun is this? You know I'm keeping this this envelope to be a journal cover. You know that. Neurographic art. But fun with it. After she did the neurographic stuff, she jazzed it up a little bit. Colored in. Did some line work. Did the little dots. Wonderful. It's just so fun. So, I, you know, first thing I did was I have to try that. And I have to tell you, before you look at it, don't judge. Um, it looked really, really good when I did it. Okay, promise you'll keep that in mind? Promise. Because I'll show you. I used different colors, you know. I used oranges and blues and teals and yellowy greens. But I did it on a shiny. This is paper. This is white paper. And I'll, I have just truckloads of these shiny ones and I've tried other things I've tried the fun sprays and they didn't work I tried these on here and they worked really well they went on really smoothly I tried Tombow markers Tombow brush pens and they they did not go on very well at all they just you know like when you write on plastic it kind of beads up that's what I had here and it looked fabulous I thought it was so cute I even, I even copied, I did the little white dots on the black lines. I didn't do neurographic, but, you know, it's close. You gotta make it your own, right? Well, then I decided, you know, what if it rains? And what if, because it felt kind of sticky. It still feels kind of sticky. So I thought, well, what if it rains? You know, because it is the springtime here in the States. And we are getting a lot of rain. And most people are out in the rain. And it all just comes right off. All my hard work just comes right off. Except the pos the, this is a Sharpie pen. And Posca. But even that will come off. Look at that Sharpie. The Sharpie comes off. The Posca comes off. If I had enough energy, I could clean off the whole envelope. But, so, you don't want to do this. It doesn't work. Even... These are acrylic marker sets, which is crap. They're they're water based. Acrylic dries like plastic, you know. It should just last. Anyway, you get the point. I'm trying to gunk up this thing because I love the colors once they're all mixed. So here's a lesson: just do this cool stuff on paper. It doesn't work on plastic. Boo! Back to the pretties. Oh, let's see. Oh, cheese and crackers. This one's full of goodies, too. Holy smokes. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I see a tail. Look at what do we have here. So these were in there, too. She does a lot of antiquing. Her and hubby go weekending about, and they have some what seem to be fabulous antique places near where they live. So they go on these great road trips and they come back with treasures, vintage stuff. And she likes a certain era of children's books. And you'll see it here and there throughout her journals. Um, but that's not all she puts in her journal. She, ha she does eclectic stuff. You know, there's some stuff that she made, some things from fodder school, some things that are vintage, some things that are new. And that all she has a way of making it all just work really really well she ties everything together so this looks like a bunch of vintage yumminess poppy is a young dog yes indeed yes indeed so this is from a children's book nice thick paper that they used to come in look how aged a little dog is called a puppy oh this is so fun look at look at look at Oh, your nose always goes in front of you. <laughs> There's another one. Little Scotty dog. Dog. <laughs> That's great. Dogs make good pets. Oh, she must have a tiny attacher. Little tiny staples. Why is a dog, why is a dog in an automobile like a floor covering? Hmm. Because it's a carpet. <laughs> Of course it is. We have lettuce on the back. Oh, funny. Okay, one more. What tree 
is like a pet. Anybody? Anybody? A dogwood. Look, a little dogger. His butt in the air. Oh, he's so cute. Dogwood. <laughs> All right, we have one more. I thought we. I. Uh, one more. Where should a dog go if he loses his tail? Aw, oh, look. Tailless. Anybody? To a retail store. <laughs> of course. That's hilarious. Paw. Puppy. Look how fun these are. Oh, look at all the doggers. All kinds of dogs. Which kind is best? The big buff one with the neat white vest? The very small one with the quick, sharp bark? The princely one that you see in the park? With a funny little old waggly one. All kinds of kinds, all kinds of fun. All kinds of dogs. And all of the rest, the kind you have is the kind that's the best. That's the truth. Whatever kind you have is the best kind of dog there is. That is beautiful. What a beautiful little poem. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful old illustrations. Alice took her dog for a walk. My dog has a long tail. My, I will name my dog Spot. <laughs> Not just a puppy, a little brown puppy. Look at that face. I am a big, big dog, and my name is Mac. The dog jumped out of his bed. Is it all together? I think it is. Dogs. So let's look. Oh, they're not in, oh, oh, not in alphabetical order. Scottish Terrier. Boston's. Look how cute. But there's Boston's. Let's go see. Boston's. Page. What did it say? I already lost it. 58. And it's here. But um, Look how handsome he is. Long, tall legs. Pointy ears. And squirrel. Yep. Of course. <laughs> it's that stupid squirrel. Right? Mm hmm. Stupid squirrel. They're crying like it's dying. Ah. Wow, this is a beautiful book. 1950 from Maxton Publishers. Holy smokes. Oh, even some colored ones. Wow. These are all going to have to be tip-ins because I won't have the heart to cut them apart. And I want to keep, I'd always keep the information about each breed so I can't be chopping into this. They'll just be tip-ins. Oh, look. They're chasing a turtle. Wow. Pages and pages. Oh, the Newfie. That's more like it. Some of the pictures we've seen of Newfies lately, they don't even look like the same dog. Oh, Great Danes. Absolutely gorgeous. A little Dachshund. Bull Mastiff. If I had a palatial estate with lots and lots of room, I would have at least two Bull Mastiffs. They are so fun. I love them. Gentle Giants, they're called. West Highland Terrier. Oh, look at the little faces. I love the illustrations. They're watercolory, so not only can I ogle them and enjoy them, but I might be able to use them as reference to practice my dog drawing and dog painting skills. It's been a long time since I painted dogs. Never did draw them very well. This looks like another... Mm, might be different books. I don't know. Whatever it was, there was a lot of pages. Holy Hannah, 326 pages. But look, puppers. Apparently there's a dog on every single item in this package. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at these illustrations, these watercolory. Mm -mm -mm. Dog came along. 
So these, I could, this one is 1947, A Child's Garden of Verses by Louis, Robert Louis Stevenson, 1947. Boy, Susan, you have a, quite the collection of children's books. How wonderful, and thank you so much for sharing all your dog pictures with me. Animals in the news, look at them all. I found, I found him. We're not lost. This is from Jack and Jill Magazine. 1958. Mm-hmm. George, the Remarkable Dog, a story by Francis B. Watts. Pictures by Margot Austin. Jack and Jill, and there's doggers on every page. Oh, look how fun. Spell funny. <laughs> Aren't these great? Oh, these are so fun. And look all nice and caramelized and all aged up beautifully. Gotta, gotta teach them. If they don't, you don't teach them, they don't know. It's not their fault. Fido. Build Fido a little house. More of that watercolory. Oh, little Boston. Looky there. Look at, look at that. I'm going to put this at the late 1950s, early 60s because I have encyclopedias that look like that. Just a guess. Aw, waiting at the window. Amazing art. Aw, pupper. What kids? <laughs> oh, there's another one. Look how cute. Hungry dog. Wow, that's thick paper. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, look, someone ate all this food. <laughs> The little red napkin, a little dog with a funny face. Aw. So pretty. Just cool. Happy, you're a parcel. Happy, you're a parcel. Hmm. I have to read the story to understand what that what's happening there. Another little pupper. Pupper out with the hey diddle diddle and the Cow that jumped over the moon. He's out playing with his brands. Look at all the critters. Doggers. Doggers are best. Oh, so awesome, Susan. Thank you so much. Oh, Pokey. The little Pokey. The little Pokey, the little puppy. Wow, that took me some time to process. Don't ever dig holes under this fence. <laughs> sure, kid. Okay. Yep, yep. Gotcha. Look how pretty. Ah, I'll snuggle in. They're kind of cute. I'll give you that. And their little onesie jam jams are kind of cute. But he's he's adorable. Way better. Oh, I love that old phone. Little Yip Yip and his bark. Wow. So awesome. So if you want to see how wonderfully these children's illustrations work in journals, head over to Sue's channel and watch any of her flip throughs because you're going to see at least one or two in almost every flip through because she uses them a lot but the books aren't filled with them they're just here and there and they make they just add something really special to every page that they're on so this is an absolute treasure because I don't have anything like this I don't have any vintage dogs I don't think and the ones that I do 
I'm not tearing up, but you have gone ahead and tore these up for me so I, I can feel free to go ahead and use them. Wowzer. So I don't know when this video is going to come out, to be honest. My editing schedule mm, is non-existent, if we're honest. Uh, but I did want to announce publicly that three people I did, I, I was only going to do two, but I decided to do three for the packets giveaway, the junk journal starter kit, stash refresher kit, and or glue book goodie bag that I showed everything quite a while ago in April, showed you what's in all of them and how to use all the stuff. If you want to watch that, I will link that below. Uh, the, the giveaway is now closed, but it's still full of ideas on how to use all the things and, and what to gather. So if you're new to junk journaling, two things the video will help because i show you all the stuff that you can use not all of it i mean that's endless but a lot of stuff that you can use and two if you go to my patreon page there is a free list of what to use in your junk journals um for beginners you just take a bag and go around your house and get magazines from this room and an old book from the basement and newspapers from here and shoe polish from there and it's just a, a pretty comprehensive list. It's not everything, by all means, because it, it, that is endless, too. Sue won one of the packets. Janice H. won one of the packets. And Lynn won one of the packets. And I've already reached out to them to let them know. So I, I apologize for the delay in letting you know who won. So I missed a card care look how cute a little bouncy bounce these guys are tiny but look how tiny he is i'm not sure but i think i want to say that little that little signature either says barb art or barks art i'm not sure hey care it was fun on my recent trip to lake geneva to look for vintage dog and boston terrier but alas, I found nothing. Yeah, it's rare. It, you know, they're hard to find, really. <laughs> so I decided to shop my bookshelves and found a few things that I hope you can use. And yes, there is one Boston in, in the mix. In the boy, I'm just, it's just not coming to me. I'm not sure what it says. Um, but there's one, at least one. Actually, I saw two so far, maybe three. Thanks for all your shout outs and encouragement. I love the humor you bring to your videos especially the crabby asides <laughs> keep them coming love sue well sue the good news is, is i now have the crabby crafter clubhouse and the, for, nice segue right look at me promo sm uh, but i just started recently the crabby crafter clubhouse and it's three dollars a month and it's some of my saltier stuff for sure but it's also early access to videos it's also uh, those videos that are early access are ad free so if the ads are bothering you that might be an option uh, there's clubhouse community polls there's clubhouse only members only community posts there's a lot going on there uh, and you've probably seen at least by now i have a store where you can get crabby crafter swag as they used to say i don't know what they call it now merch that drives me crazy merchandise cool t-shirts and totes and studio aprons and little pouches for your pencils and weekenders so you can take all your crafts with you and all kinds of things i'm gonna if i haven't yet i'm gonna do a tour of all the new stuff because there's a lot of new stuff going on here at Matek at the lake i appreciate all of you watching and leaving comments and going and getting the free stuff from Patreon and following free at Patreon. And if you want to try the Krabby Crafter Clubhouse for $3 a month, there's no, you know, come in, see what's there. If you don't like it, you don't have to stay. Because it's not for everybody, I will tell you. <laughs> but for those of you who would like it, it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's It's been fun for me so far. Uh, we've had a lot of laughs over there. There's just a few of us, but it's brand spanking new. I haven't even really officially announced it yet, so don't tell anyone. It'll be a surprise. 
until we meet again, go love up your beastlies. Yeah, Betsy. Take good, good care of them because... That's what they're here for. And you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. I take out the lake.